your story, your wounds are all a domino effect to what happens in your life. The abuse to prison pipeline in a woman's life is broken down like this. As a child, she's abused physically or sexually, emotionally, and then as she comes of age and she hasn't been given the safe space to heal from that abuse, she wants to numb the feelings and the pain, so she becomes addicted to alcohol, drugs, and it becomes a vital way of her survival. And then she begins to engage in activities to feed that addiction, to continue to mask the pain of the past trauma and abuse. And that behavior is what gets her involved in the criminal justice system. Once a woman enters the criminal justice system, she's getting messages that echo the messages of her abuser when she was a child, which is, your body is not your own, you have no voice, you're powerless, and you deserve to be treated less than. So she's leaving the criminal justice system not empowered, not healed, not using her voice to stand up for herself. If the correctional system is truly interested in correcting the course of a woman's life, they will focus on healing that past trauma and abuse. And that's precisely what Truth Be Told does. First of all, I just wanna um, thank you ladies for having me here. I love coming back and um, sharing my experience, strength and hope. Um, I, love, I love being right here. I grew up in a very abusive home, physical, sexual, mental, emotional, um, you name it. By the time I was 13, I had been in five, five psychiatric hospitals and two residential children's homes because I was too hard to handle. When I was in the psychiatric hospitals, I got put on medication. What I learned really quick was that medication was the solution to all my problems, um, that drugs took away everything. Drugs didn't allow me to feel. I did my first shot of dope when I was 14 years old. I had my first felony when I was 17. I did six months and 18 days on a five year. I was out maybe, I don't know, two weeks and had a needle in my arm again and um, started breaking the law again, got arrested, did four and a half years, still, you know, doing my thing and until I came to Lockhart. I am an inmate surrounded by walls and the sound of keys. Determined to rewrite the script of my life, I hit my knees. Our longest running program called Talk To Me is essentially a 17 week journey where the women are invited to tell the story of what they believe put them on a path to prison. I never told my story before, so I thought it would be a good way to talk about my past without being judged. So many people came and just acknowledged me, made me feel like I was not my crime. Not everybody's gonna think something bad about me just because of something bad that I may have done in my past. It was the first time that, that anybody ever listened to me. I have dug down to things that I have buried since I was 15 or 16 years old. It taught me to hold my story in a safe place and that I was able to heal. When a woman owns her truth, when she can speak directly to what happened to her, when she can speak directly to what she has done to cause harm, there's an incredible healing that takes place. It's transformative. Well, I, I know for me, my past is um, what inspires me to do what I do, right? It, it does, it's not my puppet master anymore, and um, it, it doesn't control who I am. Truth be told, creates a safe place in a very dark world. Truth be told, teaches women how to tell the truth in a place that only wants you to lie, right? To hide. An investment in Truth Be Told is an investment in reimagining justice for women. It's an investment in the potential of what these women could be contributing to their communities and their societies and their families.